Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sociology Lover. Can you watch the full video? Today's topic of my video are basic concept of association. Under that there are meaning, definitions, characteristics of association and examples of association. Before I start, I want to remind you all that the keywords and different font and color. So kindly keep that in mind everyone. So guys, let's move on. Meaning of association. When a group or collection of individuals organize themselves expressly for the purpose of pursuing certain of its interests together on a cooperative pursuit is called an association. A group of people who come together to achieve any particular purpose or goal and that too for a limited period of time. An association is different from a normal group or team because it is formal in nature. An association is formed or created by people. It is a social group. Without people, there can be no association. It is an organized group. Unorganized group like crowd or mob cannot be an association. Association may be found in different fields. No single association can satisfy all the interests of the individual or individuals. Since man has many interests, he organizes various associations for the purpose of fulfilling various interests. He may belong to more than one organization. For example, an association formed for flood relief activities is temporary, while for state matters is permanent. It also can be formed on the basis of power, such as autonomous like state, semi-autonomous like universities, and non-tribal autonomous like clubs. So guys, let's move on. Definitions of association According to Maurice Ginsburg, an association is a group of social beings related to one another by the fact that they possess or have instituted in common an organization with a view to securing a specific end or specific ends. According to MacIver, an association is an organization deliberately formed for the collective pursuit of some interests or sets of interests which its members share. I hope you all are understanding till now with my explanations. So guys, let's move on. Characteristics of association Number 1. Association is a human group. An association is formed or created by people. It is a social group. Without people, there can be no association. All groups are not associations because an association is an organized group. An unorganized group like crowd or mob cannot be an association. Number 2. Common interest. An association is not merely a collection of individuals. It consists of those individuals who have more or less the same interest. Those have political interest may join political associations. Those who have religious interest may join religious associations and those who have sports interest may join sports associations and so on. Number 3. Cooperative spirit. An association is based on the cooperative spirit of the members. People work together to achieve some definite purposes. For example, a political party has to work together as a united group on the basis of cooperation in order to fulfill its objective of coming to power. Number 4. Organization. An association denotes some kind of organization. It is essentially known as an organized group. It gives stability and proper shape to an association. Organization refers to the way in which statuses and roles are distributed among the members. Number 5. Durability of association. An association may be permanent or temporary. There are some long-standing associations like the state, family, religious associations, etc. Some associations may be temporary in nature. Example, associations that are established to felicitate some great writers, scientists, religious leaders, and associations created for performing some social, religious, or other ceremony on a grand scale. So guys, let's move on. Examples of association. Number one. Political associations are the Congress Party and the Bharatiya Janata Party. 
Number two, religious associations are the Arya Samaj and the Society of Jesus. Number three, students associations are Delhi University Students Associations and the National Students Union of India. Number four, laborers associations are Bharatiya Majdur Sangh and All India Trade Union Congress. Number five, professional associations are the Indian Bar Council and Indian Medical Associations. Number six, economic associations are Chamber of Commerce and Hotels Owners Association. Number seven, international associations are the Rotary Club and the Lions Club. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you understood what I taught today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to get updated with more videos. Keep supporting and I'll be preparing more videos for you all. Thank you. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.